Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see another example which is hydraulic press machine logic using PLC. So here you can see I have created HMI screen for a hydraulic machine but the main purpose of doing this project is to understand the anti tie down logic. What is this? I will explain you later. Before that, hydraulic machine that is a press machine by using the hydraulic cylinder. So for that we need oil tank and oil pump and some valves to operate the cylinder in downward and upward direction and some control buttons and sensors to detect the position of hydraulic cylinder. So let us understand the problem definition. First of all, when the start button is pressed, that means our process is on. We can operate these buttons and if the stop is pressed, then our process will become stop. And if there is any emergency, we can also use emergency button to stop the process. Now, when the both push buttons, push button 1 and push button 2 are pressed simultaneously, then this solenoid wall down, it will energize. Motor will also become on. So what will happen? It will pump the oil and because this wall is open, oil will flow from here to this cylinder and so this cylinder will move in downward direction. But there is one condition. Ideally, the both push buttons should be pressed simultaneously. Why we have two push buttons? Because assume the worker is keeping a piece or material over here. So the hands are involved. So when the material is kept properly, operator will come back and he will use both his hands to push these buttons. These push buttons will be in each of this frame on both sides. So operator compulsory has to use two hands to press these push buttons and this operation should be simultaneously means the time difference between pressing the both buttons should not be greater than our desired time. If the time difference between pressing this button increases than our desired time, then this valve will not operate and cylinder will not come because it may possible that one hand of operator is over here only and with another hand he presses the push button. So to protect his hand, we have created this anti tie down circuit. So this is called anti tie down logic. We have understood how the cylinder will come in downward position. Now as you can see over here, initially cylinder is at this position, so both sensors are in off condition. So now we will understand how we will reach to here and come back to original position. So observe carefully when as the cylinder moves downward, this sensor will energize and further when it reaches to its final position, this down sensor will be energized. And what will happen? When the down sensor is energized, it will off our down wall and it will on our up wall. So what will happen? Cylinder will try to go upwards. When this goes higher than this level, this sensor will also become off and it will come back to this original position and at that time it will turn off up solenoid valve and also the motor. So in this way our hydraulic machine will work. Here you can see these blue lines or blue pipes are the supply pipes. This is the supply pipe for downward direction. This is the supply pipe for upward direction oil supply pipe. In the brown color you see this is the oil return path because assume that first oil moves from here to and presses this cylinder in downward direction. So here there will be some oil. Now we are forcing oil from this direction. 
so the oil remaining over here has to return from some path and this wall is off while up process so that remaining oil is returned through this pipe to the oil tank so friends now we will see the input wiring required for this project so first of all we will have the main control buttons that are the start stop and emergency buttons and after that we have two limit switches to detect the down and up position of the cylinder and two push buttons to bring the cylinder down so this is the digital inputs of our plc here in the common we will connect the ground terminal of our smps now we will take the 24 volt supply and this supply we will connect at the one terminal of each inputs that you can see over here after that another terminal of start button we will connect it to x0 position stop button to x1 position emergency to x2 position this limit switch is to x3 and this down limit switch to x4 position similarly this push button to x5 position and this push button at x6 position so you have to remember the address of each inputs because this is the essential while doing the programming now the output side we have three main outputs first is our oil pump so pump requires the dual starter dual starter has the contactor and contactor cannot be energized directly from plc so we energize it through relay so first of all after that we have two solenoid valves for down and upward direction so total we have three outputs so first of all in the common of outputs we will connect our ground terminal now we will take the 24 volt supply and connect it to one terminal of relay another terminal of relay is connected to y0 position similarly we will connect the one terminal of 24 volt supply to each solenoid valve and other terminal of solenoid valve 1 is connected to y1 position and this is connected to y2 position here in the output side of the relay in the common we will connect the 230 volt phase and its NO terminal we will connect it to A1 terminal of contactor and other terminal of contactor we will connect it to neutral of power supply so if Y0 is on this relay will be on and this will make our contactor on so motor will on similarly if Y1 is on then this solenoid valve is energized and same for this solenoid valve we will understand the logic required to create our project first of all we have to create latching circuit to know whether the process is on or off using start stop and emergency buttons after that we will start our oil pump and timer when the push buttons are pressed so for that this is the logic that process should be on and means compulsory either the push button 1 or the push button 2 is pressed so these two things are in series but these two things are connected in parallel so if this condition is satisfied then we will turn on our oil pump and our timer now we want to move the cylinder in downward direction for that we have to energize solenoid wall down so what is the condition for that process should be on and push button 1 and push button 2 all th these three conditions should be met all three this should be on and timing should not be completed for example our requirement is both push buttons should be pressed within one second or five seconds so we will write five seconds in the timer so if the timing is not completed then it will down our cylinder but 
if the 5 seconds are elapsed that means 5 second is completed after that you press the another push button then it will not turn down the hydraulic machine so this is about the logic to turn down the hydraulic press now when the hydraulic cylinder will reach to its down limit switch so when the down limit switch is on what it will do first of all it will reset the down solenoid valve and it will energize the up solenoid valve so now cylinder will start moving in upward direction and when the up limit switch is off so here i have to correct so when the up limit switch becomes off then we have to that means there is the falling edge then we have to reset the up solenoid valve and also we have to reset the oil pump so this is the logic for our project let us create the program so we will start our isp soft software from here so click on the new file so click on the new file and confirm yes first of all we will write the name of our project click ok so as usual first of all we will write the device command list so x0 is our start button x1 is our stop button x2 is our emergency button x3 is our up limit switch so i will just write up sensor and x4 is our down sensor now at the x5 we will write push button 1 and similarly x6 will be our push button 2 so now then at the output side we have used y0 as the oil pump y1 is our solenoid valve 1 or let us say solenoid valve down y2 is our solenoid valve up so just close this and uh, click on the programs and right click on new and just click okay over here so let us maximize this first of all we will write network comment so this is our latching circuit for process on press enter so let us form the latching circuit this kind of network is called the latching network uh, this is our start button this is the output we want to latch so here i will use internal relay m1 this is our stop button which should be nc this is emergency and we have to connect one more it is our stop button x1 finally again our output that is m1 our internal relay stop button also should be nc friends we will insert a new network so this network is to turn on our oil pump 
So this network is to turn on our oil pump. You also want to turn one timer. Just press enter. So if the process is on and uh, either of the push buttons are pressed so that we will connect in or then uh, the pump and timer should on so here let me give address so m1 is our process on x5 is our push button 1 and x6 our push button 2 if this condition is true then we want to start our oil pump so our oil pump is connected at y0 and select here and now go to functions block to insert a timer so in the old types here we will write tmr which is the syntax for timer so here let us give the timer number t0 and uh, right now we are selecting 5 seconds so we have to write 5 seconds as 50 over here now insert a network what we want to do we want to set our solenoid valve for down process so i am just writing set sv down so if the process is on and both the push buttons are pressed and the timing is not completed then our solenoid valve should start before that here i have to set my oil pump here we will give address so this will be our m0 our push buttons are x5 and x6 and we have to consider timer t0 and the output will be y1 that is down solenoid valve we have to set it and here we have to consider the nc of the timer because what we want if the timing is not completed then this should operate so when the timing is not completed t0 bit will be off so its nc will be so its nc will have continuity so similarly now insert a network So this network when the cylinder reaches to the down sensor so we have to set SV up valve and we have to reset SV down that is solenoid down so here I will just try that press enter so simply we will select one contact and two output coils address to each so this will be our x4 that is the down sensor and uh, y1 and y2 so this is the down wall that we want to reset and up wall that we have to set Again insert a network. So now cylinder is moving upward. So when it reaches to the up sensor, so what will happen? Up sensor that is X3. This was already on. When the cylinder goes above the up sensor, so this sensor will off. So when there is the falling edge when it goes from on to off state at that time this up solenoid wall should be resetted and also we will reset our oil pump so now i will write address so what is this it is y2 and this is oil pump y0 
and both of this should be resetted. So friends, this is all about the ladder programming of our hydraulic machine. It's HMI designing and simulation we will see in the next part of this video. Till then, if you want to learn more examples like this, stay tuned to our YouTube channel, instrumentiontools.com and automationcommunity.com.